Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn how to make a miter joint out of cardboard, which is going to look like this. Okay, so the cardboard is going to be cut at a 45 degree angle. And these miter joints are not the strongest wood joints, but what they are is they're aesthetically pleasing, which means they are pleasing to the eye. So typically they are used for frames, picture frames, for moldings around windows and doors, crown moldings, things that we want to look nice but that are not necessarily going to have any load or any weight applied to them because they are not very strong. Okay, so here's how we're going to make it. We're going to take our cardboard right here and we're going to cut it into strips just like this, just like we did with our previous joint, our butt joint, and the strips need to be two inches wide. So from here to here across needs to be two inches. Okay, so here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to lay it on my cardboard, and I'm going to mark it at two inches. I move the ruler up, I'm going to mark it at two inches again, and I'm just going to connect my marks. And then I'm going to take a pair of scissors, and I'm going to cut along that line. Try and cut nice and straight. Okay, now that I have my strip of cardboard that is two inches wide, the next thing I need to do is I need to cut a wood a block that is now four inches long so you can see if I lay it on top it's the same two inches this way but it needs to be four inches long I wrote it on here four inches long so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take my ruler lay it right on top of the cardboard in this direction lengthwise and I'm gonna mark it from the end right here up four inches okay and then I am going to cut at the four inch mark. Okay, so now I have my block that is two inches this direction, four inches in this direction. So now what we need to do is we need to turn this piece of cardboard into this. Okay, so that we can make our miter joint. So here's what we're gonna do. Along this, from this top corner here, I'm going to measure down two inches. Okay, so I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna lay it on here, and I'm going to measure down right along the edge, two inches, and I'm gonna make a mark. Right there, right along that edge. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect this top corner with that mark that I just made with the ruler, and that will give us this line right here. So I'm gonna take my ruler, I'm gonna lay it across, line it up with the corner, line it up with my mark right here that I just made, that remember was two inches down, and I'm gonna strike my line. And there we go. And now I'm just gonna cut along that line. There we have it. Now I have my piece, okay? Now, once you have one of them, you can use that as a template to make a few more, which is pretty neat. So, what you can do is you can take the one that you have and now lay it on top of the cardboard like this, okay? Line it up and then just mark like that. Right, and then I have another one, and cut. Okay. Now this piece of cardboard you can see already has the point on it, so I'm gonna flip it over like this. I'm gonna take one of the ones that I cut already, I'm gonna lay it right here on top, matching up this line right up at the top. And I am going to mark it at the bottom now. You can see, and now I can cut that out. So I'm going to repeat this process, okay, until I have 
eight of these pieces right here. I'm going to need eight of them. So I'm going to lay eight of them out across right here. We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Whoops, I need to make one more. So let's make one more. So I'm going to lay it on top. Trace and cut. There we go. So now we have eight. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to stack them up and glue these four together with hot glue. And then we'll stack these four up so that we hot glue those together. And once they are glued together, then we're gonna glue them together like this to make our wood joint, okay? So here we go. So let's glue these together. So I'm just gonna lay them out. I'm gonna take my hot glue gun. I'm gonna put some hot glue right along this piece here. Take my second piece right on top. We're trying to make sure that this edge right here is nice and accurate. So I leave it for two or three seconds till it dries. Apply some glue on top of this piece. Glue down the next one. And last one. Again, just a reminder, trying to make sure that this angled section is nice and even and flush. Okay? And then you're going to repeat that for the other four. These other four. We're going to glue those together. The other four. Okay? I already glued another block together to save us a little bit of time in this video. So, once I have my blocks, my four glued together, and my four glued together, now what we need to do is just glue the two pieces together to make our completed miter joint. So I take my hot glue gun, try to get some glue right along the edges here of this 45 degree angle. So if you can see that, right, we're gonna glue here. So when I turn it this way, I wanna try and make sure I'm getting glue on the outer edges as well as in the middle. So I wanna get some glue right along the edge here. Now, I don't want to go crazy with the glue, but I also don't want to be too sparing with the glue. So, a decent amount. A little drop of glue is not going to be enough. You're going to need a little bit more. Okay, then I'm going to lay these down, and I am going to hold them together. Typically, it takes about 30 seconds for these to dry. Okay? Fast forward 30 seconds, and you will have a completed miter joint, which looks like that. And that's how you make a miter joint out of cardboard.